In today's video, I'm going to be doing a mini review of the Philobot Reclaimer. Let's go. I recently picked up this machine and noticed there's very little online about it, so thought I would do a mini review to cover some of the features. The Philobot Reclaimer is, unsurprisingly, made by Philobot, an extrusion company in the USA. It is designed to process waste plastic into smaller pieces via a two-stage process. First up, larger pieces are put through the shredder, which in turn outputs chunks small enough for the granulator. The granules churned out from this are then small enough that they can be turned back into something usable like filament or injection molded parts. This machine has clearly been designed with safety in mind. Each shredding unit is covered by a hopper to store the incoming material, but also to prevent access to the blades during operation. Two sensors on each hopper hood ensures the machine cannot be operated without these hoods properly secured down. There is a normal stop start button, an emergency stop, and a safety reset switch. The shredder units can be accessed by lifting the catch on the hopper and rotating the hood. This can then be returned in the same way. At the back of the unit, an LED indicator gives information about the status of the machine. Okay, let's get the machine started. You can see I've got this small box of waste PLA material, slightly over a kilo. Perfect to demonstrate how to and how not to use this machine. The spouts at the bottom of the shredder are designed so that you can cable tie a bag around them to catch all the output. But here I've just used an empty spool box since it's quite a good fit. If you just start by throwing everything in that fits, the machine will start to spit out some shredded material. But you'll notice quite quickly that it blocks up. Pieces that are too large will just sit above the blades and hold everything else up. The guidelines on the front of the hopper recommends nothing bigger than the 3 inch sphere should be put down. However, for support material, where it's very easy for the pieces to interlock together, even smaller parts will need to be used. Generally speaking, if you keep well below the max size guidelines, the machine will operate well. Once output from the shredder, the idea is that this material will be a perfect size for the granulator. There is one major problem though when it comes to low temperature resistant materials like PLA. Just watch here how quickly the output halts from the granulator. Barely 20 seconds in and we've got a block. What happens is the heat given off from friction warms up the shred enough that it starts to clump together and we end up with parts bigger than the maximum size. This means the granulator part of the filament reclaimer is not well suited for low temperature resistant materials. Materials with higher temperature resistance however, like this nylon here, work really well. So, what do I think of this machine? Well, it's pretty good. Reasonably well thought out, design and easy to use. The fact that it runs on single phase at either 110 or 240 volts depending on your version means you don't need a commercial power supply to add this to your workshop. My favourite thing about this machine is how easy it is to access the blades to clean up when it's time for a material or colour change. It's not possible to get it 100% clean but still better than alternatives I have used or seen. Naturally I am disappointed that the granulator does not really work well for PLA since that is the main material I would have used this machine for. However, I know that low temperature materials are always a challenge when it comes to shredding. In short, it's a pretty good machine and I do think there are many applications where this machine would really be an asset to a small business. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to ask any questions about the Philobot Reclaimer in the comments down below and I'll do my best to assist. If you got this far, smash the like button and if you're not subscribed, feel free to. It would be much appreciated. Lots of videos in the pipeline, so I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.